Hello. Do you want to play a game? In a world where zombies, ghosts, serial killers, and vampires all exist, it's Nico, Brian, Mike, and Dustin, and they are all that stand between you and the films that could end the world. Welcome to the Don't Go Out There Horror Movie Podcast. What's up, everyone? This is Dustin with the Don't Go Out There Podcast. I know I'm not Nico, and I know I sound like shit, but you'll have to apologize, or you'll have to excuse me. I woke up with some laryngitis today. I'm joined with Mike and Brian today. Yo. Brother Nico uh, is getting uh, Nico's getting bent over by the weather down in Tallahassee. So yeah, sure. our thoughts and prayers are with him. He's he, we're we're not envious of his work situation right now, no. but um. So uh, how you guys doing tonight? You excited? Doing all right, man. I'm no, I'm nervous. I don't know. <laughs> what the fuck. No, knowing you and the last damn thing that we did, I, there's right. no telling where where you're going with this. Yeah, I'm okay. nervous. I think okay. our fans are going to think we're fucking idiots about horror. <laughs> all right, we're so not. we're, we're going to look. No, like we're it. not. We just play one on TV. So right. before we get into what the episode is tonight, it's a little bonus episode for you all, a little bit of fun. I want to thank all the fans and listeners. Obviously, we couldn't do, we wouldn't do the show without you. You're what, you know, drives us to do what we do. Uh, I want to shout out the website, don't go out there.com. Brian has designed a very nice website uh, where you can find all of our interviews, all of our previous episodes, and they're split up by reviews and interviews. So if you have a particular thing you're looking for, it's easier to find now. Uh, you can also find some merchandise. We've got several cool t-shirts designs on there. We've got Hats, mouse pads, Shan's uh, Etsy page with her tumblers, all that good stuff. Also want to shout out our social media. So give us a follow if you don't already. If you don't already, what are you doing, man? We're over 300 episodes in. Give us a follow. Right. And also on the website, you can find out how to become a Patreon or our version of it, which we call Blood Donors. Uh, special thanks to all of you Blood Donors. You've helped pay the bills for us. And you can also get the ad-free versions of our shows by becoming a Blood Donor. So tonight, Nico had to call an audible. Like I said, he's getting worked over by the weather down in Tallahassee. He's a you know city worker, so he's dealing with much bigger issues. So I threw together something fun for us. We're going to do some horror trivia. And this can be fun for the listeners, too. So, you know, if you uh, listen to this, keep track of how you did and let us know. Chime in on social media. Okay, let us know Brian. how many you got right. It'll be okay. You look stressed. So, <laughs> Brian does look stressed. There are four, four rounds of five questions each and each round gets progressively harder. So round one, each question is worth five points. Round two, each question is worth 10 points. Round three, 15 points. Round four is 20. After we finish the four rounds, we will have a bonus question. This will be a wager style question. So based on how many points you have, I'll let you know uh, when we get to that point, how many points you each have, you can wager. You can go all in, you can bet some of your points, or you can play it safe, wager nothing, count on the other guy getting it wrong. Take the win that way. If by some stroke of miracle, there's a tie after the bonus question, I do have a tiebreaker. And that one will just be uh, whoever's closest to whatever it is, takes all. So, you guys excited? You look a little nervous, like you said. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right. Let's get it started. Question number one, round one. In Jeepers Creepers, the creeper returns every how many years? Yeah, mine's a total guess. I do not remember that. <laughs> Answers are locked in. Brian, what did you put? I said 11. 11? Mike? 23. It is 23. So, oh, I was going to say 25, so we're good. Good job there. I just um, listened, question number two. Shout out to Cody Leach. I just listened to his review like two days ago. It's the only reason I know this. <laughs> I'll let you know. All right. Question number two. Camp Crystal Lake is in which state? Camp Crystal Lake is in which state? State of confusion will be an acceptable answer. Yeah. <laughs> Parts unknown. Does that count? <laughs> Parts unknown. Hailing from the boiler room, mankind. I'm going blank right now. I'm going fucking That's blank. Schedule for one fall. I believe in you. 
Well, Brian, if it makes you feel any better, you have a one in 50 chance of getting this right. If with a complete guess. <laughs> <laughs> no shit. Guess what I think it is. I answered too quick, which makes me nervous. You could get the right answer is New Jersey. Yay! All right. New Jersey. New Jersey. Rumor has it uh, he is the love child of Pamela Voorhees and the New Jersey Devil. Um, <laughs> question number three. Question number three. The Blair Witch Project takes place in which state? I know you know this one, Brian. I do. It's a movie that's near and dear to our hearts for nostalgia reasons, mostly. One answer, one answer locked in. Okay. Mm, yeah. Why am I drawing? God, like I should know this. I know this makes me. This makes you feel stupid. Yeah, it does. <laughs> it does. And peek uh, behind the curtain to the listeners. I gave these guys kind of a study guide, but it was the most generic. <laughs> yeah. You would you would essentially so I listened, far, none of this was on the fucking study guide. No, I didn't. I, I didn't. I didn't give. I didn't give hints for every question. Just a handful of them, and the ones I did, I just gave a movie title or a, a broad subject. So you'd have to like really watch the entire movie or uh, you know do your homework on the specific subject to get it right. But I'm just weird. Like some shit just sticks in my head, and some shit just. Doesn't. Period. Like I don't know. Five seconds. Okay. I, I guess locked I guess. in. Brian, what'd you say? Maryland. Ah, fuck. Mike. I said Pennsylvania. I, I fucking did that. <laughs> it is Maryland. It is Pennsylvania Maryland. Pennsylvania is actually a pretty good guess. It is pretty good. It's a bordering state. I think. Um, I think so. Question number four. Two. Question number four. <laughs> round one. It's close enough. No, actually, I think West Virginia is between the two, but you know. Border Wars and whatnot. Um, question number four of round one. What is the name of the hotel where Jack Torrance lost his mind? In other words, in the movie The Shining. Brian's favorite. You know, I couldn't not, you know, I couldn't not put a, a Kubrick question on here. Oh, of course. I don't remember <laughs> anything about that movie except for like plants and trees and. Don't be a dick. Answer the question. There, are, there is plants and trees and some beautiful nature shots. There is wonderful shots from Sir Cougar. Also, rumor has it there is some back shots involving a man in a bear suit. Hey, I don't oh, know. hey, 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 <laughs> oh, hey. Yeah, I think there is. <laughs> All right, answers are locked in. Brian, what did you put? Overlook. Mike? Overlook. That is correct. Both guys getting a question right for the first time oh. in round one. Fuck, if I had answered question. Maryland, damn it. <laughs> Last question around one. This one arguably could have been around two or three question. What oh, is the geez. name of the group of friends in it? The name oh. of the group of the friends. Mm. We have one one answer locked in. It group of friends. Hold on. I'm playing the movie in my head. Hold on. Oh, so we'll be here for two hours and yeah, I was gonna say, 20 never minutes. Mind. We'll fucking be here forever. <laughs> Jesus Christ. We'll do it live. And I will give you all a score update in between round two. So going on into round three and four, you'll have an idea of where you stand. Dog, I'm sweating. <laughs> I was not sweating before. <laughs> I did take some pre-workout, so you'll have to excuse me. Oh, um, geez. Usually those group texts are wild whenever you're on pre-workout, brother. Back in the day, brother, for sure. That was when I was on the shitter. You guys just didn't know. Uh, I feel pretty good about that. Okay. All right, answers are locked in. Brian, what did you put? Losers Club. Mike? Losers Club. Losers Club it is. All right, moving on to round two. (laughs) Moving on to round two, the questions are worth more here. They are 10 points apiece. Question six, Candyman takes place in what city? Takes Uh, a nap. I have no idea. I'm guessing. It's kind of funny. It's kind of funny because I kind of sound like Tony Todd today. You do. (laughs) Say my name. Helen. (laughs) All right. One answer locked in. Oh, that's a state abbreviation, doesn't. Oh, okay. Okay. (laughs) Can can you can you give a city in that state? Chicago, Illinois is what I was trying to write. Okay. So answers are locked in. Brian says Chicago. Mike. This sounds right now that he says it, but I said New York City. It is Chicago. Ah, it is Chicago. Cabrini All Green, right. motherfucker. Now we're already like tied at points. This is bullshit. No, I'm just kidding. This this next question is tied into 
The single greatest kill in movie history. What kind of allergy does Charlie have in Hereditary? Oh, what kind of movie, allergy? Bro. They had to, they had to leave. He had to rush down the road and kaplow telephone pole. I don't what happened? fuck. Oh, um, <laughs> you didn't pay attention. <laughs> uh, fuck that movie, man. <laughs> Movie's stupid. Wow. <laughs> you just don't get it. You just don't get it. Wow. I just don't get it. Dude, I actually love All it. Right. I have a problem with it. Answers are locked in. Brian, what was the reason they had to leave? I don't know. I said asthma. Mike? I said nut allergy. <laughs> it is a nut allergy. <laughs> no, I don't remember, dude. <laughs> She's eating All a right. piece of cake, man. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And then, Got like I said, Kaplow, her kappa was detated. I've seen that movie one time, and that's when we reviewed it. I do not remember that movie. Ooh, right. you know what? It's you know what? It's overdue for a re-review. Let's do it. I, you know, I agree. I agree. August is coming up. A twenty-four. We could re-review. Ew. Nah, I'm picking All Maxine. Right. It's Brad. Question eight: What city was the destination of the class trip and final destination? Where were they headed? Oh, fuck! Why do I know this? Oh, I know this one. What city? I'll give you a hint. It's abroad. Yeah, yeah. I can't remember. Fuck. One answer locked in. Two answers <laughs> locked in. Brian, could you be more specific? God damn it. <laughs> Two answers locked in. Brian, what did you say? That's kind of a guess. Paris? Mike? I said Rome. <laughs> it is Paris. Oh, it yeah. That was a good guess Paris. right there, baby. Good job, buddy. <laughs> I just said France at first. <laughs> yeah, but well, yeah, he said France, and then on the uh, Candyland one or Candyman one, he said Illinois. Right. And I was like, oh, "Be more, st- come on, you are there, states, man." All right. States. What's the name? Question nine. What's the name of the evil child in the Omen? We haven't covered this movie, but pretty iconic. One answer locked in. Two answers locked in. Brian, what'd you say? Damien. Mike. I also said Damien. And you were both correct. All right. Both correct. Good job. Good job. That almost felt All like right. a trick question. So, like, maybe yeah. you got a guess. Like, yeah. Like second guess. That's so. pretty iconic. Have you ever met a person named Damien who's not kind of evil? So, I mean, it's, no, it's fitting. No. All right. Apologies to anyone of our listeners who happen we to be named Damien. We love you, Damien, Damien if you're <laughs> out there. You. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Question 10. The final question in round two. What does Megan stand for? We just reviewed this movie. I know, but fuck. Man. What does oh, Megan stand for? Oh, Jesus Christ. I said it. I said it in the scene by scene. They said it I in just, the movie only once, I think. And, and if you if you want to think about it, it's M3GAN. I, I just did the fucking scene by scene, or just did the edit for this today. Look out for that episode coming soon. All right. Brian's answer is locked in. Okay. Four. Three. Oh, okay, 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 okay. <laughs> All right, answer's locked in. Bro. Brian, what'd you say? Model 3 generator, generative android. I always, I, and, and by the way, android okay. being abbreviated A-N is stupid to me. <laughs> okay. So I also put that because I remember making fun of the fact that android had both letters abbreviated in my actual notes I took for it. I was not both on correct. the episode. Fuck yeah, you let's go. Both correct. Bro, I'll tell you so, right now, if we hadn't watched that recently, I would not have even had a clue. Not a clue. Yep. All right, so that is the end of round two. Like I said, I'll give you a score update now. We have a neck-and-neck neck battle. Right. Brian with a slight advantage because okay. he got one more right in round two. 55. Mike with 50. All right. All right. Let's go. Let's move along to round three. Everything is worth even more points. 15 Uh, points per question here. Question 11. I'm going to give you three things. You tell me what movie these three things are in. All right. What movie has the following three things? Fried Chicken, A Museum of Monsters and Mad Men, and Walton Goggins as a state trooper named Steve. Oh, fuck. That is Fried Chicken, A Museum of Monsters and Mad Men, and Walton Goggins as a state trooper named Steve. I honestly have no idea on this one. We'll go 10 seconds. Five mm. seconds. Wait, 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 wait. Three. Wait, I'm typing it in. Two, one. All right, answer's locked in at the buzzer. Brian, what'd you say? I said super troopers. <laughs> That's a really good I thought about it multiple times. 
That's funny. Um, my- fried, ch- fried chicken was the giveaway, I think. House of a Thousand what? Corpses. That is correct. That is correct. Yeah, yeah I've only seen know- that once, too. I don't remember that shit at all. Brother, you gotta, you gotta watch the, a little uh, Rob Zombie in your life, man. All right. That's fucking hard. That's a good question. question. I like that question. Thank you. Question number 12. The annual purge lasts for how many hours? The purge lasts for how many hours? This should be pretty easy. So we're going to go 10 seconds. Okay. I'm sending it in now. I, I, that makes me feel like I'm wrong. <laughs> I didn't think about it very long. All right. But, Both answers are locked in. Brian? I said 12 hours. Mike? I also, I also said 12 hours. It is 12 hours. I tried to trip you up with that. I thought, you know, I thought maybe one of you would say 24 hours, but remember, it starts at sundown. Yeah, it starts at it's, sundown. All right. Sun up. All right. Almost this next one. Hours, so. This next one. One of the clues that I gave you on the study guide was horror at the Oscars. What 1985 horror movie won an Oscar for best makeup? Oh, shit. 1985? 1985 movie. Best makeup. Best makeup horror movie. Fuck I'm trying to think of what came out in 1985. I don't fucking know. I'll give you a hint. We have not covered this movie yet. Okay. That doesn't yet. Me. Yet's the key word. I don't even know when this came out, but I'm guessing it. All right. We'll go 10 seconds. Mm, uh, Five dude. seconds. All right. I'm sending it in. I don't know. Three. Got it. Two. I don't know if that. I don't, I don't think that's the right year at all. <laughs> all right, Brian, what did you say? I said poltergeist. I don't. Even I also said up. poltergeist. Did you? And that's funny. Yeah, that's funny. I maybe my, maybe I tripped you up because I said yet yeah, because we've talked about poltergeist a, a lot, but it's actually the fly. Oh, the fly. Okay. Okay, so if right. you think about that, that had some great effects for the time, especially. It did. All right. Question number fourteen. The nun takes place in which country? The Nun takes place in which country? Movie sucks, by the way. Anyway, no, it doesn't. The, the second one, I'll plug it here. The second one is much better, and it's actually on streaming now. So I think we should do I'll it. I'll give soon. it a watch. I'll give it a watch. Ten seconds. One answer locked in. Okay. Four, three answers are locked in. Brian, what did you say? I said Romania. Mike. I'd also said Romania. You are both correct. Both correct. Question number 15. Last question in round three. Last chance to grab an extra 15 points before they get pretty hard. Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters question. (laughs) What is the name? What is the name of the virus that causes the mayhem in 28 days later? I know. I don't know. Uh, I probably should have studied, but I didn't on this one. Um, I believe that episode was the inaugural Man mm -hmm. Fucked Them Kids Award. That was, was 28, 28 weeks, weeks later. That was weeks. Yeah. You're right. You were right. We haven't yeah. done days, have we? We need to. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. We'll go 10 seconds again. One answer uh, locked uh, in. I don't know, dude. I have no clue. <laughs> Brian, what did you say? Rage virus. Mike, what did you say? Said, yeah, suck my, class. I said suck my dick virus. I have no clue. <laughs> I hate that virus, man. That virus sucks. <laughs> hey oh. That, wow. That's that's a good one. That is not correct. The answer okay. is rage virus. Nice. Okay. Rage virus okay. was correct. All right. Moving on to the hardest round. Pause. Question number sixteen. We're not doing that no more, son. Question number sixteen. Round four. Your first chance to get twenty points for a correct answer. What is Josh and Dalton's gift called in Insidious? Oh. What is that God. called when they do the thing that they do? Oh, okay. Ten seconds starting now. Shout out to Lynn Shea, friend of the show. Sorry. I have no idea. Five seconds. One. I don't this fucking is not, either, dude. I'm, hold on, hold on. I'm sending an answer. But I don't, it's, it's, I don't know. Two very good answers. Tempted to give you credit for both of them. Brian, what did you submit? Uh, the Wonder Twins. All right. Mike, what did you submit? I said these nuts. <laughs> 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 the correct answer you're both very close but the correct answer is astral projection um, i would have never gotten that well, no shit. i'm i'm an idiot of course it oh duh <laughs> god damn it 
That's uh, All right, God, that's not one of my favorite franchises. That one so fucking bothers wrong. me because I should have gotten that one. God damn it. All right. Yeah, they Astro projected and saw uh, Darth Maul, so it's pretty cool. I said um, Darth Maul. Question number 17. Brian's going to love this one. What title is Danny crowned in Midsommar? Oh, fuck. What title was she crowned in Midsommar? Ten seconds. Oh, okay. Hey, man. I may not love every H24 movie, but we are fucking locked in to the hereditary Midsummer universe. All right, both answers fucking... are locked in. Brian, <laughs> what did you say? Flower queen of dumbass weirdos. <laughs> very good. Mike, what did you say? The May Queen. Well, it is the, the May Queen. We are in May. Try to give you a little bit of, you know, hint there. We are in May or right you now. Could just, you could just later, pay but... attention to the illustrious movies we review on the show, Brian. That is true. This Although one, I didn't get, if you, I didn't get a lot right. <laughs> this next one, if either of you get this right, I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna have to have you show your work. <laughs> what is the name? What is the name of the ship in Alien? What is the oh. name? Oh, I know Brian knows. Oh. Like, I have no idea. I'm not going to lie. How do you spell it? No, sure. I will give you, don't say it out loud. I'll give you, uh, I'll give you close know. enough credit if you. Dude, I'm just kidding. I don't know if that's the how you spell it, but I do know this one. All right. Both answers are locked in. Brian? Nostra, Nostra, Nostradamo? Nostramo? Something like that? Okay. Nostradamus? My- yeah, I said the Titanic. Oh, that was close. <laughs> That's close. No, it is Nostromo. Nostromo. Yeah. And I will give you close enough credit because that's, that's, that's a yeah. I feel like that's pretty yeah. damn good, man. Yeah. Nostradamus. <clears throat> All right. Another one that, come on, if you get this one right, I'm going to have to see your work. All right. I, this is dipping back into horror at the Oscars. All right. I know okay. Brian loves the Oscars, JK. Okay. Get Out was nominated for Best Picture at the 90th Academy Awards in 2018. What movie won? It's not horror. What 2000, movie won? What year did you say? 2018. 2018. 20, 2018. 10 seconds. Fuck, I don't know, man. Um, I think I'm right. Let me know. I had to I don't pick watch between two. I don't know. One was an A24 and one wasn't. All right, Brian, what did you say? I have no idea. I put I, Tanya. Shout out to Tanya Hardy. Probably the only yeah. time that will ever be said on this show. <laughs> only time probably ever, yes. Mike? I said Shape of Water because a lot of people took it as a horror film winning. I don't remember what year that was. So. It is a Shape of Water. It Get is the, the Shape of Water. Oh, God. You get rewarded for stupid-ass Oscar winning <laughs> knowledge. I said. God I, damn it. Hey, I feel question number that, 20. That one wasn't as hard. The last question of the regular round of regulation. What is the name of the town in Nebraska where Children of the Corn takes place? Oh, fuck. It's the name of the town. Watch a goddamn 30 of these things. I should fucking know this. We will go mm. 10 seconds. Five <laughs> seconds. Okay, both answers are locked in. Brian, Brian, what do you got? Justin Gatlin. Fuck, he's going to win. Answer. I put Mike. down. I have no idea. <laughs> said All <"Town."> right. <laughs> it is Gatlin. It is Gatlin. So let me do some quick maths here, and I'll get you a total before the yeah. final He's round. He's got me by round, a Lightning round. I don't know. I don't think so. I think you do. But we washed on the last round there. So I believe my math is correct. It is not. <laughs> Hopefully it's in my favor then. Yeah, the same. Stop the count. All right. Going into the bonus question. We have a tight one. So Brian shoot. with a slight edge still. 140 to 135. So, so for the final question, I'm going to give you the category. And that's the only thing you get. You don't know what the question actually is. You just get the category. And I want you each to text me how many of your points, either 140 or below for Brian, 135 or below for Mike, how much of that are you wagering on the bonus question? The category is part fives. Part fives. So the fifth installment in franchises. You have 135 points. 
Okay. Interesting, interesting strategy here on the wagers. I'll reveal what the wagers were after the question. So I want you to put the following five movies that are all part fives in a franchise in order based on their rotten tomato scores from highest to lowest. Oh, how many here, man? I'm going to run out of There's five of them. Okay. Okay. So the first one is Friday the 13th, part five, a new beginning. Okay. The second one is a nightmare on Elm street five, the dream child, Mike's favorite. Fuck you. The third one is Halloween five, the revenge of Michael Myers. (laughs) (laughs) The fourth one, saw five. Oh, and lastly, paranormal activity, the marked ones. Okay. Question. Highest, so our highest score go first or lowest score goes first? Yes. So whichever movie you think has the highest rating okay. on Rotten Tomatoes will be first. The lowest would be last. And then descending order in between. I run through those franchises again. So those five are Friday the 13th, Part 5, A Nightmare okay. on Elm Street, Part 5, Halloween 5, Saw 5, Paranormal Activity 5, The Marked Ones. That's what it's called. So I will give you... 10 seconds starting now. This is interesting. I don't know. Huh. All right. One answer locked in. Sorry. I want to switch that. I can't use my own bias. Because <laughs> if it were my fucking choice, Halloween 5 would be way down there, pal. <laughs> All right. So reveal your answers, starting with Brian. What order do you have them in? Saw 5, Friday 5, Halloween 5, Nightmare 5, Paranormal Marked Ones. Okay. okay. Mike? I said Saw 5, Friday 5, Nightmare on Elm Street 5, Halloween 5, and then Paranormal Activity. Wow, so the only ones we got swapped yeah. are Nightmare and Halloween. Yeah. Yeah. That was a coin toss for me because they both <laughs> You were both incorrect. Uh, oh, shit. <laughs> so. so bro, I hope you wagered one I'm going to tell you the Funny correct idea. order. <laughs> I'm going to tell you the correct order, and then I'll tell you the wagers and the, the final standings. So the correct order, you, you might want to be seated. You might want to take another seat. I know you're both sitting down. You might want to take another seat. Don't you Number put one, Halloween 5 first. Paranormal Activity, the marked ones. Which what? is a piece of shit as well. And see, I, I thought that since it was newer, that more people would have seen it and more people would have ranked it lower. That's what I thought. That's where I was going. I with. thought it was it's, ranked the lowest because the movie fucking sucks. Well, it's not worse than Halloween Five to me. That no, movie, but that movie has a forty percent. Oh, so we want you to process that as well. The rest of these movies oh, are no. under forty percent on Rotten Tomatoes. There's the, the reason they call it Rotten Tomatoes. The fuck out of my face. Second, <laughs> again, sit down, take a deep breath, maybe grab some water. A Nightmare on Elm Street Five: The Dream Child is second with thirty-one wow, percent. Okay. Wow, that's crazy. That's crazy. Third. Why is everybody hating the Saw Five for? Friday the Thirteenth Part Five: A New Beginning, eighteen that percent. That's be higher. That's eighteen percent. You notice 18%, I haven't said percent. So, that's terrible. I haven't said saw. <laughs> I, I haven't said saw five. Be yet. a little higher. That shocks me a little bit. So at number four on this list, according to Rotten Tomatoes, Saw Five at a whopping thirteen oh. percent. Wow. That's crazy. Go fuck yourself, that's San Diego. Fuck. <laughs> and lastly, oh, and lastly, well, r- rightfully so. Oh, here. Halloween Five: The Revenge of Michael Myers. Yeah. Twelve percent. It was almost just that's as high. high. As, yeah, that's crazy on me. What the fuck? Yeah, that's crazy. All right. So that's the, a four percent at best. At best, it's not good. The masks look good. No, it's but. Fuck oh, <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for it. Don't give me. This is the mask. This. Is the mask. <laughs> All right. So the final standings. We had a real barn burner, high scoring affair. The, <laughs> Mike wagered all 135 points. Goddamn right I did, buddy. So he finishes the game with zero points. That's fine. Let's go. Brian, with the $1 Bob strategy, wagered 135 points also. So he finishes with five points and is our trivia winner. (laughs) Our inaugural Don't Go Out There trivia winner. Now, it it wasn't needed. It wasn't needed. But I'm going to give you all the tiebreaker question anyway just for fun. Okay. Just for fun. Okay. So the last item yeah. on your study guide was, I think I put 2024 at the box office, but I corrected it in text. It's 2023 box office. Tiebreaker question. Whoever can get closest to this 
amount by the you know the closest dollar will get the tiebreaker right. How much did Scream Six bring in opening weekend at the box oh, office? Shit. All right, so you both went over. Oh. So yeah. I don't have to actually do the math. Thank you for that, um, <laughs> because I could just tell who's closest. Um, Brian, what'd you say? Sixty million. Mike, you said. I said fifty-eight million. Oh hell! <laughs> Correct answer was forty-four million four hundred forty-seven thousand two hundred seventy dollars. Nice. So I Mike almost put forty million. Period. I uh, almost went forty. I've changed it three times. Oh, uh, so Mike wins the tiebreaker, <laughs> which doesn't mean anything. Brian still wins. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take that as one point instead of zero points. So I lost by four. Asshole. Okay. I'll give you All one right, point. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. There we go. All right. I'm leaving here for something. All right, guys. This this was a lot of fun. I definitely want to do this again. Nico's bummed that he couldn't make Hell this yeah. episode, so we should definitely do stuff like this more often. Just as kind of a, a fun break from the reviews and everything. It's, it was yes, a lot of fun. I mean, he would definitely get all the A24 questions. You know, he only missed. He did them. Let me count how many he got wrong. He missed. It was only a handful. Uh, oh, we one, didn't two, miss a ton, three. Did we? He missed six questions. And we miss? Mike, you missed eight. You missed nine, Brian, but you got more in higher the uh, yeah. You got the higher points questions. Yeah. All right. I couldn't remember what the yeah, hell dates yeah, these fucking win, things were in. You, you winning, dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> you guys have anything else you'd like to add or say before I take us home? I'm sorry to everybody <laughs> listening, going screaming at the fucking radio right now, like God damn it. Yeah, I got yeah, I got something. If you're a listener of this show and you were part of the reason. That Halloween five <laughs> had what was it fourteen percent? Go fuck yourself. Okay, San Diego. Thanks for being a listener, though. But seriously, go fuck yourself. Yeah. Absolutely. There you go. All that right, was guys. a lot of fun, Dustin. Yeah, absolutely. I want to thank everyone for listening again, and special thanks to our blood donors. I don't have Nico's list that he normally reads off, but you know who you are, and we appreciate it. Like I said, we could not do this without you. Camper level reoccurring. Nina, Michelle Mirza, Horror Movie Crew Podcast, Alex Sugson. Michael Evans, Camp Counselor Reoccurring, Edward Hernandez Gunn, Joe Swinford, Shan, Adrian Aiello, Brian Samick, Andrew Ferguson, Matt Strickland, Brooke Maley, Thorne David Phillips, Heather Superdoc, Jennifer Davis from the Too Close to Home podcast, Dana Tucker, and Cole McAlexander. Please don't stop donating just because we don't know yes. horror trivia. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Some of those are hard. Dude, people are going to be shouting at their fucking thing listening to this. Like, <laughs> yes. you idiots. Absolutely. Yeah, well, well, That's okay, do. though. We, you know, know there's a reason I was hosting the trivia, not participating, because I can't remember shit. So, this was a lot of fun to see you guys sweat. We'll be back next week to review Nico's pick when he gets a, you know, to take a breath and actually get some sleep. Uh, his pick next week is Late Night with the Devil. Recent release. It is streaming on Shudder. So, be sure and, uh, be sure and check that out before you list our review. And we're also going to wrap up True Detective Season 1 on DGOT, the series. A lot of fun on that show as well, so we're looking forward to that. So until then, this is Dustin, Mike, and Brian saying so long from Don't Go Out There. Don't go out there.